Hello everybody, welcome to my speech on terrorism. Now what lens are you looking through to, onto terrorism? Now most of you are probably thinking that it's a very bad thing and it really just needs to just be stopped. And most of the times you are correct. But if you think about it, there could, there's, here's, a, here's a story. There is a family of five out in some random place in the world, and there is a mother, a father, an older brother, and a younger sister, and then there is a 13-year-old boy in the middle. And he is sent out to, to, to the fields to check on his herd of cows, per se. And then there is a plane flies above, and shoots a missile down at his house, and it destroys it, killing all of his family. Now, now after that, he is left with barely anything, and he really just doesn't know what to do. So, he's in, he, he goes into town, and he sees this group that wants to retaliate against the people that destroyed him, that killed his family. And he doesn't really believe with what their beliefs are, what what they like, what they see, and what they want to do with the world. But he joins them, and he is sent on to do a terroristic act against those who killed his family. And that is how a terrorist is born. And of course, that's not all. Every all terrorists are not created that way, but that is an example. And that's a that's a decent way to look at how uh, look at different perspectives on terrorism because that person may not want to do it, to do that but his grief and his uh, other feelings about his, about his family being killed may have forced him to join this to do terroristic things so this, oops. this is a graph of how the, the, over, over a 14 year period, and it shows how many people died from each of these five events. And three out of five of those are, <coughs> m are all from the United States. And again, like I said in the beginning, you may think that it's a, that it's a very bad thing, and you, you also may think that, United, that the United States has not done things. It's just, you may think that it's a very good country that does, that does justice to lots of different good things, and it hasn't really done much bad. But as you can see here, there's a lot of people that have died from this, from the, from the, from the Afghanistan war, from the Iraq war, and the US troop surge. And, and if you think that September 11th, 9-11, that may look like one of the most tragic and horrible events in history, it is ho absolutely horrible. But if you look at like the US troop surge and all, this, and all this other stuff, there's a lot of other things that can be contributing to terrorism than just ISIS or Al Qaeda or all those other groups that may be showing up on the news lately or stuff like that. So, no, here is uh, a graph of terrorist attacks in the Middle East and South Asia. And in this, it's there's these two events, there's these two key events in this graph that show a massive growth in the amount of terrorist attacks over a 10 year period in the Middle East and South Asia, which is, of course, as you can see, the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. And they, they grow am an amazing amount. And of course, this is not amazing, but it grows all so much during these two things. And America has uh, partly created both of these events. And I would actually like to go back here and show of this thing up here. There are nine times more people killed in terrorist attacks today than there were in 2000. So if there was a terrorist attack in 2000 that killed 
two people, and it happened today, according to these statistics, it would be 18 people killed. And if you scale that up a lot, and there was an attack in 2000 that killed 1,000 people, if it happened now, again, according to these statistics, there would be 9,000 people killed in that single terrorist attack, and that is just horrible, and, it's just, and it keeps growing and growing from all these different reasons. And over there it says it had, there have been over 61,000 terrorist attacks since 2000 to 2014. And, and that is a lot of terrorist attacks. And if, and if you divide that by 360, then you could figure out how many terrorist attacks there were in a year. And then, oh wait, no, you have to divide it by 14. So then you find out how many and, uh, uh, terrorist attacks are in a year. Then you divide that by 364 to get how many happen in a day. And now that number, whatever it is, is not good. And it's, it, it just keeps, all this problem just keeps growing and growing. And you can't blame a single organization or association for, for this huge issue. And over in 2006, it's, it, it, it was at its peak, around 5,750 terrorist attacks in the Middle East and South Asia in one year from 2005 to 2006. And if, if you think about that again, you really can see how bad this issue could be. And if you find out how many, like, is a like a fr like a strong, firm number on how many terrorist attacks and how many people could die on each of these, it's absolutely horrible. So, again, before I conclude, uh, I want you to remind yourself again that this is not a issue that that is starting to fall out of existence. It's it's still growing. According to this, it fell down in 2008, but over here, it spiked back up in 2014. As you can see, it went down a little bit over there. But as you can see, this is, is a horrible issue, and, and I think that we should really try to focus more on this and try to look at it in a lot of different perspectives, because if you don't have a true opinion about this, and you just have a uh, opinion of or of a of someone that hasn't looked at this very much it's you couldn't you don't really have a strong firm opinion that is tr that is true about terrorism so thank you for listening to me